This is the new TT Artisan 100mm 2x magnification macro lens with tilt shift functionality. Very unique lens. I reviewed a tilting macro lens a few weeks ago, the Astro Hori on the right here. But the TT Artisan goes all the way to 2x magnification, which uh, not that many other macro lenses do. It's only the lenses from Laowa basically that does that. These tilt shift lenses are pretty heavy, the TT Artisan weighs in at above 800 grams and it is long as well so it feels very hefty to walk around with. It comes for all the common mirrorless mounts. The build quality of this lens is pretty okay but not as good as the Astro Hori and uh, a few parts of this lens feel a bit cheap. For example the lens cap, it is of the vacuum type here that you just have to pull from the end. Feels like they tried to save some money there. These are the knobs for uh, the tilt shift functionality. Uh, you have a lock on one side and then you have the corresponding knob on the other side. And the lock also feels a bit flimsy and the tilting mechanism also feels a bit flimsy. Not as high quality as the Astro Hori lens I would say, but it works. I also have to say that this lens is a pre-production copy, they might improve some things uh, before the actual production run because they asked me for feedback and what I'm telling you guys in this video is the feedback I have. I feel that the aperturing is very nice, it has soft clicks. The aperture looks pretty well rounded and as you will see later the bokeh is very nice on this lens. Focusing ring works well, feels nice and uh, I don't have any issues with it. As with all tilt shift lenses you can also rotate the lens around its own axis and you can do that in small clicks like this. And this rotating mechanism feels very nice. And if you wonder why you would want to tilt and shift the lens, I uh, talk more about that in my video about the Astro Hori 85mm lens, so go check that out if you want to understand more about tilting and shifting. One difference between the TT Artisan and the Astro Hori is that the TT Artisan has a shift functionality beyond the tilting, and that is something that the Astro Hori lacks. Also something that the TT Artisan has is good sharpness at f2.8, which I appreciate a lot. I feel that this lens is overall a bit sharper and a bit better optically than the Astro Hori lens, especially at f2.8. One thing that is slightly irritating with this lens is the knob here that kind of interferes with my hand. At least it was annoying in the beginning, but after using the lens for a few minutes I forgot about it and it turned out that it wasn't as big of a problem as I had expected it to be. I really love that more and more lens manufacturers are starting to make 2x magnification macro lenses. Earlier we only had Laowa that did this and now we have started to see other lens manufacturers like Brighting Star and now TT Artisan go all the way to 2 times magnification. For me it is a very important feature of a macro lens because otherwise it's hard to take good insect shots and get the insect to cover the frame. Another difference between this lens and the Astro Hor is that this lens actually covers full frame. So you don't get any vignettes uh, when you do the full tilt, which is very nice. As you might remember, the Astro Hor 85mm is only for APS-C and you get heavy vignetting on full frame. Here you can see that the shifting mechanism is not that tight. Uh, maybe if you screw in the lock screw a little bit it gets tighter, but the whole lens does not feel as high quality as the Astro Hori. Here you can see the tilting function in action. I am tilting the depth of field here and it works great on this lens. Let's have a look at the bokeh. I feel it looks very nice. Uh, bokeh is always a uh, personal subjective matter but I feel it is very good and uh, yeah it is in my taste. 
The lens has a little bit of a flare problem when shooting into direct sunlight, but that is not something uncommon or unexpected on a telephoto lens, so I think it handles this pretty okay. Alright, let's do some macro photography. I started with an experiment to try to photograph some coins from an angle so that I could uh, tilt the depth of field to get a deeper depth of field. But I quickly discovered that you can't really do this at too steep an angle because the lens only tilts around 8 degrees so if you are at this kind of angle if, as you can see there is not much of a difference here. So basically these kinds of macro lenses can give you a bit deeper depth of field but only if you have a situation where you only need to tilt the depth of field 8 degrees or less. So here I am helping the situation a bit by having the coin uh, tilted against uh, this uh, lens cap here and now we can see that the tilting actually makes a difference. So uh, it's not like a magical tool, a tilt shift macro lens, it will not magically get you infinite depth of field in macro photography, but it will help a little in certain angles. And if I were a product photographer, I would love to have a lens like this, because it would be helpful in many situations, but not in every situation. Here are some more random macro shots that I took at f2.8 just to show that the sharpness is really good at this wide aperture. Look at the small details here above the eyebrow, looks very sharp to me. Let's look at some pictures at f5.6 which should be even sharper and yes indeed they are. <laughs> I could not find any sharpness problems at all with this lens, uh, I would say it's very sharp at all apertures. I guess a big decision here is if we should buy the Astro Hori or the TT Artisan. And here I have briefly summarized the strengths and weaknesses of each lens. The TT Artisan wins in magnification, it has double the magnification of the Astro Hori. It also has a shift function which the Astro Hori does not have, the Astro Hori can only tilt. Even though a shift function I think is of limited use in a macro lens. It is sharper at f2.8, it covers full frame. The Astro Hori on the other hand I feel it has a better build quality, it is smaller and lighter and more convenient to carry around on a photo walk and it unfortunately only covers APS-C, but that might not be a problem if you're using an APS-C camera. When I made this review in December 2022, TT Artisan had not yet decided on the price for their lens. The Astro Hori is very cheap, it comes in at $300, so that might also be something to compare and to take into consideration. Subscribe for more macro photography videos, see you soon again.